Lou and Glenn, they were running high. This is probably one of the most emotional sentencing hearings I've ever been in, and part of that is just the sheer magnitude of this crime. This was the biggest mass murder in Orange County history. Let's take a look at the pictures of the lives taken that day back in October of 2011. These are the eight lives taken by Scott DeCry when he walked into a salon where his ex-wife worked and opened fire, shooting people he knew and also shooting complete strangers. Many of those folks affected let it out on Scott to cry today. Let him hear how he had affected their lives at a couple of points when people were giving what are called victim impact statements, when you can get up and read to the court how that crime has affected you. A couple of times, Scott DeCry tried to say he was sorry to the people talking. Neither time did that go over well. No one wanted to really hear what Scott DeCry had to say. They wanted him to hear what they had to say. And even a couple of victims, while they were reading their impact statements, asked DeCry directly to look at them while they were talking to him. In the end, the sentence was a foregone conclusion because remember this case is dragged on for six years because it got caught up in the jail snitch scandal. At the end of that scandal, the judge ruled that the death penalty had to be taken off of the table because of what he ruled was misconduct by some of the prosecutors and sheriff's officials involved in the case. Because of that, the sentence, like I said, a foregone conclusion, the judge sentenced DeCry today to eight consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. We'll have more on this coming up on KTLA News at 3, including some of those scenes from inside.